Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skyline. So in the last episode we continued expansion of our massive new industrial sector. Uh, we got ourselves a couple new factories as well as you know the supporting infrastructure set up and uh, you know the plan for today was to continue off on this side. Uh, we're gonna change up the plans a little bit because I took a look at how much money it's gonna cost for the rest of the factories not including any of the infrastructure or anything that goes with it. And we're looking at about $2 million, and that's getting below the amount of money I'd like to have because we're going to need a buffer in case, you know, well, when this is all getting filled up, it's going to fuck with our money a little bit until it uh, all balances out. So I'm thinking it might be best to get this all finished up for what we have and let the game run, let it process. That way, instead of one giant hit, we take two uh, smaller hits that, you know, if there's something major going on we don't end up bankrupting the city uh so we're gonna be get, getting this all finished off i gotta turn down my music i don't know that's the stupid one soundtrack actually this isn't even the one i don't know why this one seems to be so loud right now uh but what we need to do is we need to get this connected up in here and we need to get all in here connected and that connected to the main road get all the rules set up and let things run uh so for this um obviously we're just gonna branch off of it so we can grab we want to do in here as a one-way probably not a bad idea so we grab a three lane one way and we're going to want that coming in that way so we can uh now we need i don't want to touch anything from this node to this node so we can make it so it comes down and then kind of squirrels back and then back up that way I kind of wish we weren't working on the corner here, but I don't think we have a whole lot of options. Uh, we could make that a less steep curve. Uh, it should be fine. It's fine. Uh, so we could just go right off here, and then we'll go straight a little bit. Uh, and we're not going to have any guides to work off of. Uh, so can we have uh, something just small? That way we can go up. Uh, and that can go there, and then you don't want to go in, but we can force it, and then just pull it straight. Obviously, those are going to have to be reverted to the proper direction. Lock on, please. Uh, so there we go. Okay, so that's good. We want to get off of, get off of moving. I wish those buttons worked all the time. Uh, and then flip that. Okay, and then we can make it so this comes around this corner. Uh, so that's going to be lock on was on. It's just not snapping to anything. Uh, so we can make that a two tile turn uh, the problem is I'm using the wrong tool there we go uh, so we'll make it three instead so three and that can come down that way I'll just pull straight to here we'll get that uh, three tile actually how far is that that's an eight so we may as well do this one as a four that way it all comes in exactly right uh, so there we go and that needs to be upgraded and then that needs to wrap itself around and back up this way. It's a little squiggly. <clears throat> uh, and then... So when we make this go up... Our best bet actually is to make that the same as this road. And then have both of them connect up here. I think that's going to be the way to go for that. Uh, so we'll do upgrade. That might... No, that turned out fine. Uh, so then that can go there. And we're going to need to redo this part here. That way it better suits two different roads. Uh, so then we can grab our three lane. And uh, we want that. Ooh, how do we want to set that up? Uh, let's grab that right there for the sake of nodes. Uh, and then we want one coming out this way. And then we want one coming in right there. So that's there. And then that one comes out. That can go away since we don't need that anymore. Uh, we don't need that because we can connect directly into that. Uh, and of course, that's not going to quite work. So we need to lock that straight. Oh, it's... I hate when it goes narrow like that. Uh, we can fix that. So we'll grab that and that. Um, I'm not going to want lock on. We just want to pull that in slightly. Probably both be about the same. Uh, so that's good right there. We'll grab that one a little bit more. There we go. There we go. That's much, much better. Uh, and then that can do its wraparound from here. Uh, so then that's going to need three tiles is what we had measured. 
Uh, so that to three, that to three, and of course that doesn't work. Why? We did three by three. Did I screw something up? Oh, it's because that's not straight relative to that. Any okay, so yeah, that's slightly off. Uh, so it's going to be a two and a half. Ew. Two and a half is not going to be a fun one. Uh, and we're going to have to do it without any lock on. So it's, I'll do as soon as it switches to a two. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. And we'll use move it just to... Actually, you know what? That turned out really good. We don't need to touch that. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that nice. Uh, and then we can make it so this wraps right up against the rail. Actually, you know what? We can have it just come in straight here. Uh, and then we'll curve that, obviously. Uh, so we want lock on so it's straight. And we can just go right into here. Use move it to curve that. But that's not going to work. Uh, so what we need is more nodes. So we can pop that off. Uh, we could pull that node forward. That wouldn't be an issue. Uh, but we do need two nodes right here. Uh, and then that one can make its way about right there. You fuck! <laughs> it reset it. it. There's no two nodes now. Uh, we can make a temporary node if it wants to be like that. We do that and now we have a new node. Uh, and then that can curve in. And then we'll realign things slightly so it's a little better. Yeah, there you go, you stupid game. Trying to make my nodes disappear. It's a good thing that it does try to limit nodes. Uh, because there is a node limit for the game. But sometimes you just want it to fuck off. Um, we don't want lock on. We just need a very slight in. Just to make it so it's concrete there. And then this, uh, that needs a new node. That way we could curve this. So we can get rid of move it. So we get rid of deconstruct. Oh my God. Why? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, so I can go from, <clears throat> that is four to four. So we'll grab that. Curve that. Remove. And then flip everything the right way because everything's a little wonky right now. Oh, I wish I could get rid of those. <laughs> uh, okay. So then that needs to be flipped. Just right there. And that looks right. Okay. So then from that, we need to figure out this. And that, I have a plan. It's going to be kind of squirrely like this one, but we can come here. Uh, this is where, again, I wish I could make it so the divider would stay the median. But we're going to have to make this work. I could use... Uh, rules uh intersection rules to make it so it's a little bit more controlled but if we have this we're obviously gonna have to use move it uh, so that can just come in like that and we'll make it so it goes down get rid of locks uh, and we're gonna obviously make that curve a little nicer and that goes off that way yeah because that's coming in that way and then it's gonna go and meet up with that uh, but we'll make it so it kind of does this corner a little bit differently. Uh, do we want that snapping? No, we do need that extra node there. Uh, again, we're going to make this a lot cleaner with move it. Uh, and then from here, this comes here. And it's going to need to go up. Right there. And then connect into there. So that way, obviously, this these here aren't one ways. But we don't have a way to change that. But we only have the one lane in. And then it'll come back out. And then able to come back up. And go off that way. Yeah, and I guess we're going to allow them to do a turn. That way, coming up, they have a way to go that way too. We could have just made it so it's just a road that drops down and in. But, you know what? This is fine. Uh, so, we do also want to connect from there to there. Uh, that way, that's a one way. And these are all facing the right way. We just got to clean it up. Uh, so... Do we want a curve or just straight? A curve would be nice. Uh, so we need no lock on. No snapping, rather. Because that's a little steep of a hill. We can pull that a little bit more and have a fairly shallow curve. Uh, that node there, we can pull way up into here. We're going to want snapping. Uh, actually, not snapping yet. Let's grab this. Pull it 
pretty much right up against where the rail is. Uh, and that might be a little bit tricky to find. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, and we do want snapping based on that. Uh, and then that should be able to snap straight. Uh, this one, oh, we need to get that in there. So I can just have a sharp turn. Uh, it's not great for traffic because sharp turns they do have to slow down for. We'll see if it causes a problem. If it does, we can rearrange it. Uh, and it would be kind of nice to curve that, but we won't be able to. So that's going to have to stay like that. Uh, and that one can come into where that is. Come into there. And then this is going to get a turn. Uh, so we're going to need... Okay, let's get this part fixed. So I can go in like that. Pull that just a bit back so we can redo it. Uh, so you can fuck off. And we want... Yeah, if we do that and that, that gives us a node to work with here. Uh, we're going to want it a little bit closer this way, this way, and that way. Uh, and then we obviously need to flip this the other direction as well. So that's good like that. Uh, and we want flip, go away, good. There we go. Uh, and we can do... Actually, you know what? We can let it do some decorations while we run. Uh, so that should be our road works with the internal section here set up. I don't really like how that turned out. We might end up redoing some spots where it's a little fucky. Uh, and then for now, I don't know exactly what's going on with this road, but we can... Uh, with lock on. Go into here. Oh, and that's slightly off. That's fine. It's only a point to agree. Uh, and then that will probably eventually... Well, not probably eventually. It will uh, split off this way. That way we can get the factories in here. But it'd be nice to have that just connected just to make sure it all works. Uh, and then... Okay, so that rail's all connected up. It goes that way. Uh, that also is going to want to go straight. I know it doesn't go anywhere right now, but I don't want to, you know, be coming back and trying to figure out everything out later. Uh, so I can just run across there. And do you exist? Got a little bit of funkiness here. There we go. And a little bit of funkiness on this one now. Just pull that just enough where it's not weird. Uh, and that one's also just slightly off. There we go. Okay, so that way that can go that way. It could go this way. Uh, that obviously is only going in and out that way because this one does the opposite. Uh, and those are all connected up. This might end up as a problem. Uh, that's not uh, enough room for terrain. So I'm hoping that we have more than enough infrastructure where nothing ever backs up at all. But, you know, we don't have real control over the trains unless we make it. So they only have one option. So we'll see what they do. Uh, so with that all hooked up, we need some rules. Uh, we can say vehicles. So blocking this off isn't going to fuck anything up. That's not what I want. Uh, I want... Oh, yes, it is. Sorry. Um, we want no truck traffic. Because that's only done by rail. So that way, if anything comes in here, they can split off any other way and head back in. Um, if we block this off, they can do U-turns right there. So that's also not going to be an issue. So that should be fully contained. So that way, all freight in and out is done by rail. And port, obviously. So that should be fine. We're going to need to get water. We do have water coming through here, but we're going to redo it because obviously this all has changed. <clears throat> so we can pull this back. Uh, and what we're going to do, other than decorations, while we wait for... That's weird. Uh, wait for all this to, you know, level out and balance itself. Uh, we can get some residential set up for this area too. Which I'm not quite sure where. We got lots of lakes and stuff we could work around. We got the whole coast here. I don't really want the residential for them being way out here. Because that's kind of far. So we'll probably do something like here. Maybe that lake there. We have lots of options. Uh, either way, this water. Okay, I think that's all the water done. Uh, I didn't reconnect that though. Uh, so this can also get redone slightly uh so that can back off there and we'll just connect it straight for now and then we'll figure it out uh so oh god we're gonna need the right road uh so that's just standard road yeah, we could just grab that connect it up into there uh which it doesn't want to go straight out oh, there because lock on wasn't on 
Um, and then power. Of course, we don't have enough buildings where it transfers cleanly through it. Ah, we can get... Uh, for right here... Uh, so how are these buildings? Uh, let's grab find it containers. So yeah, I downloaded a absolute ton of container. It doesn't show it here. Uh, if we go to all, we got buildings and prop versions. All the options. I just got basically a whole collection that someone made. Um, I would prefer the ploppable versions because these are buildings. Uh, the other ones are prop versions. So uh, the building should uh, fade out less. And it'll not make it, so we have a bazillion uh, prop count. Uh, so what we can do is we got large stacks and small stacks. Even the large ones aren't particularly large. Uh, and then we'll grab ourselves some roads. So we can work off of here. Uh, shit, how big was that? <laughs> that was approximately that big. Uh, and these actually don't need a road. So we can stack them a few wide. Uh, that's good, actually. So we'll have these. Now, are these going to be something that has a changing texture? No, it's the exact same one. Uh, I think... Oh, actually, is it? No, it is. They are different. Yeah, they changed the colors. That's wonderful. Uh, now, there is that bit of concrete there, which is fine. So let's... Uh, run this just back here ourselves some extra containers and we'll run a road off of that and then uh, right now we're just going to use this to transfer power so we don't have to cannot build on water shit we can't run the game uh, we need to level this for one because it is slightly wonky uh, so let's grab that get a brush size of something small sharp uh, make sure that's set because sometimes it doesn't you want to go back up please now there is going to be a bit of water there but do these transfer power no, actually. <laughs> so that doesn't do what I want anyway. Uh, so we can grab ourselves big ass power uh, because obviously industrial should have proper big power poles. Uh, and we can connect from, of course, that's right there. But we'll go from here to here. We'll grab move it and just shift that so it comes in straight. Uh, and then. I kind of want. A power pole to continue the whole way through. So what we can do for that. How uh. Yeah you can. Yeah we'll allow that. I'll have that run there. Oh. It makes the towers disappear. I was going to move him into positions that are not weird. Like I would have stuck like one here. And then one somewhere on the grass here. But if you make him invisible. I'm actually not too bothered by that. Um, and then we can run that up there. It's going to do the same, invisible. And then we can run it around. And just all the way down. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So we'll just go up and around it. Hey. I don't really like how that goes up and around. Kind of wish that didn't exist so I could just keep going. Um, I guess we're just going to have to. So I can just go uh, right to here where it will continue and meet up this way. Uh, so I can just come right up to that. And then we got to get in here. So we can cross here. And I'm not going to elevate the damn thing. I'd rather people drive through the wires than to have these elevated, because these elevators are just horrendous. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not doing that. You don't notice this that much from above, but you definitely notice these. And from a distance is what I care about, and I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and then you can just wrap around the perimeter. Just in like that. So that should be powered. If we run this, the water and power should connect. Okay, and you are lacking all your resources, obviously. Um, so we just need to just let it... Oh, the props do disappear on these. Damn. I was hoping that since they are building versions, they are prop version, uh, 
the distance for level of detail would stick around a little longer. At least it should look alright for pictures. What's uh, the distance on that? Yeah, it's not super far. I'm not going to get a mod that changes it. Because if, if I get a mod that changes this, it changes all of them. And I'd rather not have my game die. <laughs> uh, so that's fine. So we can let that run. It's going to take a little bit for that to go. I'm not sure how our financial situation is going to be. Uh, obviously, this is the first time I've let the game run. So we have stuff in the background freaking out because of water. Um, is there anything else we got to do? What are you and why are you here? What? Where did you come from? We haven't run the game yet. You couldn't have come from any other rail or anything, really. That road doesn't go anywhere. So what are you doing over here? Yeah, stupid truck. Uh, that's fine. And we got to make sure that the this one here works too. Because it is kind of breaking the rules on how it should work. So, yeah, we're going to have to let that run for a bit. Uh, so in the meantime, we can get ourselves just a bit of decorations. Uh, so we can... Grab this. Bring it straight across. And these aren't going to make any vehicles or anything, so we don't have to worry too much about how the traffic's going to lay out. Um, we have that so it comes in, like, not there. Thank you. Right. Ah, you son of a bitch. Right there. Uh, and then we can just grab ourselves some more props. Uh, so that, if we put that right in the middle, ah, I was hoping the concrete would stretch. Uh, that's not a big deal, uh, because what we're going to do instead is we'll pull these ones back a little. That way that can be straight relative to that centerpiece. Uh, so we can actually, the smart thing to do, copy, 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 copy. Hey, look at that. Now we only have to place it one time. Uh, and then we can grab that, 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 plus this road. We'll pull it just up into here. That gives us a little bit more room on the edge. That's not quite straight. Let's pull that. Damn it. It's not what I wanted. Okay, it's good enough because I'm not re-clicking all those. Uh, and then we can have that road also come into here. We'll get some more going on here. Uh, we'll grab a different one. That way, I'm not sure what color differences we're going to get. Pack four. I'm going to have to mix these up a little. Um, so we only want the large ones. Uh, and then actually small ones can go into here. Uh, so we'll just grab that one. Uh, I'm going to have to move these around, switch them up a little. That way we have a bit more uh, color options going on. Uh, and we can go... That'll be fine. Because uh, then we could fence this off a little. Yeah. Uh, so let's grab this. Uh, our money's not negative. So that's a good sign for shipping... Uh, sorry, it's a good sign for us not... Uh, okay. We're gonna have to see if that's acceptable. That was a lot of clipping. It's again, because that's... I, I kind of cheated to make that one work. Because it, it shouldn't be here because the actual path was out here, but we pulled it in. Uh, so it does make a little bit of a weird. Um, yeah, we can get these moved a little. Okay, so what we need is that can pull up a little bit more. Get these all just aligned a little bit better. Uh, and these could come in. Then we'll grab ourselves a nice industrial fence. Uh, we can also pull this. I'm hoping that they're never going to use it, but we could pull that in that way a little bit just so the concrete spreads. Uh, we can create a copy of this and get. Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. Okay. It's not that big of one. Uh, along with that, we should probably get early warning systems going sometime soon. Uh, not that I care too much, because if a disaster happens, a disaster happens. We're not going to set up all the, you know, bunkers and shit, because they're all fucking useless anyway. Okay, and the game's going to move us. <laughs> Again! Man, this area gets absolutely wrecked. We also just won another game. Holy shit! Perfect. I don't think we've ever lost a home game. I look at that regularly because I'm waiting for the day that we lose, but we don't lose any home games. 
Ever since we placed it, I don't think we lost a single... Oh, actually, that's a lie. I think we lost our first one. Okay, are we all good? It's all the way out here at our mine. It hasn't fucked anything up yet. Oh, there goes our power. That's actually quite large for only a 3.5. Luckily, we have power redundancy for this reason. Uh, that road wasn't so redundant. <laughs> actually, that does have a redundancy up that way. That's not too bad. It's now over. Uh, so two people died, one building destroyed. Oh, shit. Uh, I wonder if that's power poles count as a building. Uh, and then we lost a bit of road, a bit of fire, a bit of trees. Basically a non-issue. Uh, we'll just get this redone. I kind of wish it didn't destroy this completely. Uh, because what we need is that to come down. Uh, we're going to need to redo that one. Because we need... The hell? That's weird. Because uh, we're going to need this being pulled along. That way it's a nice long straight. Um, we're also going to need to... Go off. Get this fixed. Uh, get... That's not destroyed. Uh, we can get that freehand into there. Uh, and then we need to get our power back up. Uh, so we'll grab these because they don't look fucking horrendous down here. You don't actually notice them. Uh, and we'll keep that earthquake there. Of course. The only time that we're going to remove any disaster-related damage to the terrain is uh, if it's an actual issue. I, the, we did it for one thing. I forget what it was, but we did clean up completely one disaster. I think it was a small sinkhole that was just in a stupid spot. Obviously, we had the big one here that we turned into a, a park. But I like the disasters. They give the map even more character. Uh, so that's good. And you guys are holding up fine. Uh, you actually have all your resources. That didn't take them too long. We've not really run the game too much. Um, so you're still lacking... Yeah, we obviously want to keep that running. I'm actually surprised that got everything. Uh, and then you... Oh, yeah, we need garbage and everything. Which is actually good because it'll help uh, fill in the area with some more industrialization. Uh, so we can have this... Right near the main would be nice. So that would work on this corner. Yeah, so that's good there. Um, we don't necessarily need that. We also need our fire and police down here. Because obviously the closest would be way out in here. Uh, I was asked if my services for here got done. Oh, that actually didn't go as far as I thought. Oh, because I, I was thinking that our police and fire were more over here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need to get that up eventually. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, you guys also are lacking right there. Just a touch. Just a touch. Uh, so, we can do... Fire and police. We're going to grab a large one for the excess range. Do we want to do it back here? I, I kind of want to redo that there. Not a fan of that. So let's avoid it. Uh, and that's going to be containers within there. That's going to be containers and stuff. Uh, we could do them in here. Uh, let's actually... Grab... Uh, that road actually should be fine. Let's pull it back into this corner. See, see what we're working with there. Uh, so we got... Oh god. I hate when I do the medical tab by accident because obviously the uh, old people mod doesn't quite like anything. Uh, so we could have that there and we are going to want a police. It's not going to really work there. Um, if we do that there, we'll grab it, flip it. And then we'll get a road in. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Make it so it goes this way. Try to not screw up that power. The power doesn't care that it's here. But I don't want it, like... Going through the building too bad. Uh, and then we can back that up. We'll just make that go to there. And then down. And now you have a road connection. We'll get these spread out a little bit better. 
not spread out, but, uh, sorry, arranged a little bit better. That way this concrete works. Just like that. And we can grab ourselves a parking... Whoa, that's not right. Uh, parking lot. We're going to want that to be all... Fucking capitals. I never use a capital. Why would I decide a capital was the thing that I needed there? Uh, so... W oh, I'm going to need a lot. Help narrow it down. Actually, I could have just done QQQ because that's my fucking thing that I set up specifically for it. Um, and we can just throw that down. Just, uh... That rail is a little on the close side. So that's... Right there. We'll pull that in slightly. And that can go right into there. So we have an extra little bit of parking lot. So that's our police and fire covered. Um, so that's good. Let's just let that run. So it's a good thing. We know that it's not going to try to import all those things. Uh, we may have ended up with this. I'm hoping that that's right. So you're good. Uh, you don't have crops. So is the zoned industry farming product crops or is the game just stupid and there's the two different things there? Because that doesn't have crops. In theory, that should have delivered it to here. Unless that's not crops and we actually have to throw down because I don't know why that would be named differently. I don't know why you'd want to warehouse the vanilla industry's products. But I'm thinking we're going to have to use that stupid barn. Or we'll use silos since they are a little less out of place. Um, which isn't really a big deal. We have a lot of police going off that way. Can you stay in the area? I'm not going to limit them because it's nice to have the full range. Uh, so I'm... Where would we even have got those other than import? <laughs> Why has it got to be like that? I don't know if that's crops. I, I want to say no... Because, obviously, it would just fucking say crops. We can't just get crops on that. But what reason in the game could you possibly want to store zoned industry stuff? That's what I'm kind of lacking here. Um, so, for now, we won't touch that. Let's grab uh, some big silos. Because that is 100% crops. I know that. Uh, and we can do that. Uh, we don't want to do anything along here. Kinda, let's get this to go up more. So I can just go right to the end. I don't see an issue with that. Uh, and then we can split this. Oh god, how big was that? We can split that there right now. Yeah, that needs to be further back. Further back. Uh, we'll just split it right there. I know that's more than we need, but that's fine. Um, cause I want that right on the fucking corner facing the other way, but it's not going to let me. Uh, so we'll do two right here. Let's do three right here. So, and that is going to hold our crops. So I don't know what, why that has to be like that, but whatever. Uh, we'll keep that just, uh, I don't think that's ever going to do anything. We'll probably get rid of it. And you got glass. That's fill. So that should be obviously getting all of our glass in. Our money's going down a little. It's coming. It's coming. So what I'll do is uh, we are nearing the end of the episode. Uh, I'll let that just run for a while. Just uh, wait until it balances itself out. Uh, you guys are lacking. Whoops. You stupid fucks. Why can't you just pick something that's next side? Si uh, you're stupid. <laughs> one of these days, someone will make a mod where they'll always go for the closest one. Instead of picking one random one somewhere on the map. This area is also going to get redone. Um, I know we just redid it. But we did it in a slop. Like, we didn't really redo any of the roads or anything. Obviously, we don't need that here. Yeah, this could be much cleaner. Uh, but we did just throw that together for the sake of it being that style so we could see if it works. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be particularly effective here. So that method over there might only really work well if we also did greenhouses here. Which is something we can do here. Uh, 
But if we wanted to do forestry processing or oil processing, that's not really something that we're going to want the raw resources getting done in the same area. It's like they are getting stuff. It, again, the whole, if we had much, much more storage, it would be a non-issue. Because then you'd have much more trucks potentially being a close one instead of a far one. And, you know, there would always be some on the road for it. Uh, yeah, and it's whatever. It's whatever, that's fine. Uh, and then that's still not running because it doesn't have its damn crops. It did end up with some lemonade. Oh, I didn't set these. Whoops. Uh, so those are going to want to be fill. Now, this might cause a big negative for cash because these definitely can import. We've got our rail coming in. Uh, and the rail does have a switcher station over there. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about it only being like misconnected or something. And then you're lacking your plastics. Uh, plastics is there. We do have plastics here. No trucks out, though. Uh, we do have other plastics as well. Uh, that one is empty. And I think that's the only other one. I wish uh, we can have an overview with the icon above it so we know what it is. Or even if it was just like a sticker on the roof that showed what it was. That would be kind of cool, too. Just because... Uh, Got to click through and figure out what's what. But yeah, I'll let this uh, run off camera for a bit. We'll see how it is. I kind of want to set up a district. Um, if this isn't a district, does it say how many jobs are here? No. Because that only... Oh, yes, it does. Just take a sec. See, ugh. Only 86 people working in this building. I can't modify that. That should be significantly more. Based on the building footprint. But I can't do anything about that. Because I do want that. that. That would be nice if it was like two or three hundred workers. And all these other big ones being, you know, relative to their size. Uh, because you look at, you know, something that big with 80 whatever workers. Uh, and then you got an area, oh god, like this, which... That right there is about the same size, and that's probably about a thousand workers right there, because this whole area is twelve. Oh, sorry, that'd be about six hundred workers right there. So something like three hundred for the single factory would be a much, much more preferred thing, but I can't change that. But yeah, either way, uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm also going to, since I'm going to be sitting here watching this all anyway, I'll throw down and clean up some more of the containers. That way we have a bit more decorativeness going on. Uh, and that'll probably be it. But I get to sit here and watch all this work. Uh, where are you going? Cargo hub. You just came from here, did you not? Oh, it uh, came from here. And then it went in here, drops them off, and then it's going over here to drop some off too. Yeah, cause I'm pretty sure I've seen that come out of that one. That would make sense. Because this one here, for example, um, it came from here. Oh, that would be our glass and or metal load. And then from here, it'll probably go off some other direction. It's nice seeing trains full coming in here, though. Oh, that one just disappeared. Uh, and you got a fucky thing going on here. I'll allow it as long as it's not going to cause us an issue. And what are you guys up to? Uh, so you're going to large grain silo. Okay, so that's all of our grains. Yeah, our, uh, it didn't really screw with our cash like I was half expecting it to. I wasn't sure if it would. Uh, it mostly came down to how much of the other stuff we're going to end up absorbing that would normally have been sold. Uh, and what actually gets imported. Hey, you're running again. I'm hoping now that we have this here, that should be able to stay filled. And then you're still lacking... Oh, you're lacking crops now too. Luckily, we just got that. So you have that in there. See, that's working as intended. Oh, no, you're going back because you're the one that dropped it off. Either way, you are still kind of lacking these. Uh, and then how's that bakery? 
Where is the bakery? I forget. Is that the bakery? What's the one building that's different from everything else? Because we have multiples of everything except for the bakery. That's it there. Uh, and you're lacking crops. And there's our crops. I just seen the truck pull up. And that's going to run out of flour. Um, which we do have flour right there. So that should have sent a truck long ago. It shouldn't wait till it's empty to send a truck. And this is literally the only place on the map where it could get flour from. Um, being pretty, Oh, that's a lie. We still have that bakery over here, don't we? Let's get rid of these. That way it's impossible. Because there's a chance that this ordered flour from all the way over there instead. But um, now that that doesn't exist, that should be the only location on the map that can deliver it flour from a warehouse. And the flour mills that we have in here should be the only other place that it could get flour. So that should never be able to run out of flour. Unless the vehicles are just stupid and don't, sh you know, go out when they should. Uh, out of curiosity, what's our uh, vehicle limit? We're at 12,200. This is getting close. This is getting close. We got about to 16,384. Uh, and when we do start, you know, bumping up against our vehicle limit, we're going to have to change the city dramatically to uh, drop traffic more. It'll be basically a rework of the entire region of what we have at that time. Uh, but it'll be an interesting one. It'll uh, expand the series even more because we're going to have to, you know, redevelop all of our areas. Which is the plan anyway. But we'll have to redevelop them in a way that facilitates the least amount of traffic. We got a death issue over here. Uh, it's light. How's our death? We got coverage. We got just one there. Let's add another one somewhere a little bit further back here. Uh, let's do it right over here. Right near the corner. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so yeah, either way, that's going to be it for today because I keep rambling. Um, not sure about next episode. We'll either be working over here if this is all working properly and it you know keeps up fine. There's a lot of tr uh, boats coming in. Uh, if we don't end up doing industrial, then we'll end up starting a community somewhere on this general area for the sake of jobs. And we'll work with that. So it'll be one of those two, most likely. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just babysit this and see uh, what's going on. But um, that's going to be it for today. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.